Welcome to week number 10 of my summer practice journal. It's crazy to think that we've already made it this far and that summer is starting to come to an end. This week I start teaching marching band with my high school for summer band camp, so time gets a little bit more limited. We'll see how much I can get done each week, but we'll probably extend some of the goals over a two week period. This week we'll start out in Lakori to number 24, which I'll focus on getting all the right notes at a slower tempo, and then we'll probably end up speeding it up just a little bit. I also get to start working on quartet music, which I'll be playing soprano for this year, and we're gonna start with the bass and clo. We'll see how far we can get this week with just the first movement. I'm gonna go ahead and be done with Joel Love's Liberation for the time being, and I'm gonna get started on Concert Suite by William Bolcom. This is probably going to be a piece I'm gonna work on for the UT Concerto competition, but we'll see how far we get with that. I look forward to getting started with all of this new rep, so let's begin. So with the time I had today to practice, I spent most of it filming and editing a TMEA sort of how to start working on the etudes video since they came out on Monday, July 22nd. So I recorded the beginning few measures of each etude just as a sort of an intro clip into me talking about certain things to work on and think about when starting these etudes. I will link that video up above if you're interested. If you didn't catch last week's video, I will be playing soprano and quartet for this coming year, and so I started to work on my soprano chops a lot. I've been doing most of my warm-up, and then I was trying to do some etude work, as well as just working on all of the quartet music for this week. I am using a Leger from last semester, so I do need to get a new one, so I don't sound the greatest, but it will work for now. I started off today's practice with some open fifths working on starting the vibrato instantly. It's sort of an issue that I've had for a while now, but I think that problem is starting to come to an end, and I feel pretty good about my vibrato. I then moved on to working through some harmonic minor scales. One of my goals, especially when it comes to soprano, is working on a lot of scales and technique stuff. It takes me a little while longer than alto to feel good about my hands being on the soprano and just working through some crazy technique things. I want to feel as best as I can when it comes to quartet stuff, especially because I didn't play soprano and quartet this last year. Um, I think that doing these sort of things is going to help a lot. I then went over to the Chops book and worked through a Bach vocalist exercise. It's a short Bach excerpt that is transposed within a bunch of different keys down the page, and I like to use these for like sight reading every once in a while. I don't really remember them, so coming back to them after a few months is really helpful just because it works on your ear. After you go through about two or three of them, you know the tune and your fingers start to just go in the right place, um, even though the, the key changes. This was also the, I think, second day of working on the Dace and Chloe Quartet, and this is going to be our standard for this year. Um, I really like this one. I'm working on the first movement so far, and we'll see how much we can get done this week. Right now it's a lot of playing through the different phrases and passages and doing a lot of marking down the correct notes and correct fingerings. One of my favorite things right now is going from uh, soprano back to alto, just because alto feels so much better after playing soprano. There's just something about it. And here I'm working through Le Corps number 24. As you can probably tell, I'm having a little bit of a hard time getting back up to that C. I'm just a little flat, and then when I push it up, it's a little bit sharp, and I'm just finding that it's very uh, hard to nail it right on the teeth. I think when I flipped to the chops book, I was in the vocalist exercise section, and so I went through a different uh, few of these exercises and just worked through some little bit of sight reading things and just connecting through the different leaps. And then here's the second one I did. I started a little bit down the page just because the first few lines is all altissimo stuff and soprano altissimo is a little bit killer.
I know yesterday I worked on the core etude number 24 on alto, but today I decided to do some soprano work. I think I worked through the second page just to get the notes and rhythms down. Every day I work on Bulkham, I'm feeling a little bit better about the placement of my voicing, especially with these altissimo notes. Um, this A flat was a little bit consistent at first, but I'm feeling a lot better about it now. I was really hesitant to pick this piece to work on for the UT Concerto competition, but after about a week and a half of working on it, I feel pretty good and it's going to be a really big challenge, but it's better than playing something that I already knew that sort of is a little bit too easy for me. I wanted a challenge and it's good to work on new music. Today I started things off with a articulation exercise out of the chops book. It was working on low register articulation, which I think is really important, especially on soprano. Towards the end of this, my uh, pinkies were definitely starting to hurt. And then down the page, here's another articulation exercise, just working on octaves. Definitely not the greatest thing I've ever played, but it's something to work on. I then worked through some more Dace and Clo, working on that second page, just getting through a little bit more of it. I didn't have much time to practice today, but I did end up working through some more of the etude of the week, um, just getting the tempo up just a little bit. I think I worked through this at 50, which at the beginning of the week I was about 44 BPM for the dotted quarter note. I started off today working through some sonorities. Sonorities are always my favorite thing, especially when I don't really want to practice. This sort of gets my mouth feeling more adjusted to uh, playing the instrument, especially soprano. I then flipped a few pages in the 28 day warm up book and went through the fingers number one exercise. I probably shouldn't have been going this tempo it was a little bit tricky, but um, we got through it and it was slightly successful. I know this wasn't on the agenda for this week, but I couldn't help myself getting started on some Kevin Day Converging Spectrums. This is another piece we're going to work on for quartet this year, and it's not too long and not too difficult, but I will be getting more work on this next week. I think I'm also going to continue working on Lacore Etude number 24 this uh, next week. I know this means that we're not going to get through all 28 by the end of summer, but at, we'll probably leave one or two for the beginning of the school year. I felt pretty good about this run, I just want it to be a little bit faster. It's not as close to the goal tempo as I would have liked, so we'll probably end up doing this next week.
So a little bit of a shorter episode this week, even though I didn't get as much quantity of practice as I usually would, I still feel like I got a lot accomplished and I feel really good about things. Some days this week, it was a little bit hard to get the horn out in practice just because I'm all hot and sweaty after being outside with marching band and uh, coming in and playing some saxophone seems like a little bit of a tall task, but we definitely got it done. We've probably only got about two weeks left of this series and I've got a lot of quartet music to learn as well as the Volcom concert suite, which I wanna try and get as much of that done as possible. And then also UT band audition stuff should be coming out in the next few days. Hopefully that's a August 1st type of thing. So maybe I'll be working on that next week. Either way, I hope you enjoyed. If you made it to the end here, make sure to comment down below. I will see you next week.